What is going on all my beautiful Shark Sharkettes, it's Creed Shark 8000 here. I'm here with my new series that I call Death Battle Ideas. So if you haven't, if you don't know what Death Battle is, just look them up on YouTube and you'll see what I mean. But I'll give a quick explanation of what this is. Now Death Battle, if you know, is a series where they pick two random characters. They, have, they compare their abilities and weapons, sort of, and then have them fight it out. So I figured I'd set some ideas out there on my own. So today we have Dragonite, the borderline legendary dragon from Pokemon, versus the legendary purple dragon Spyro from the PS1, 2, and 3 games. So without further waiting, let's compare them. Alright, now since both of these two wield thunder, fire, ice, stone, and special attacks, I took one of each of the best abilities and now I'm going to compare them as such. So now we got Dragonite's Fire Blast against Spyro's Flamethrower. So Fire Blast from what I've learned is it's the most powerful, one of the most powerful fire attacks in the game Pokemon or in the show. And throughout all the generations it always has a chance of inflicting a burn which could seriously hurt your foe. So in that battle, Spyro gets hit by that, he gets burned, Dragonite's going to have an advantage right off the get-go. And it also does some pretty good damage as well. Spyro's Flamethrower, it vary. it'll vary. It's got a decent range, and strong enough, it'll shoot out um, sparks, like cinder balls. And it'll also scorch the floor, leaving it hard to walk on. He also shoots fireballs, which explode on contact and can shoot other fireballs as well. So in that situation, it's also very effective. Now who personally would I give the edge to? Well, they're both very powerful fire attacks. And they could both do serious damage, but... In the end, I would have to give the advantage to Spyro's Flamethrower and Fireball. Now we move on to the electrical attacks. Dragon Knight's Thunderbolt versus Spyro's Lightning Blast. Now Dragon Knight's Thunderbolt, throughout the generations, it shoots a stream of lightning that does very, very much damage to their opponent and could cause paralysis. So if Dragonite gets lucky enough to land a good blow on Spyro with the Thunderbolt, Spyro may end up paralyzed and unable to fight. Now Spyro's Thun Lightning Blast, if you've played any of the games, he he can shoot a stream of lightning straight from his mouth. I don't know how he does that. And from all the games I've played, it can chain off to other enemies. Now, even though this is a one-on-one -on -one fight, that's a good thing to know if you're fighting like a group of people. And he could also shoot homing lightning balls uh, from his mouth. So they're not exactly homing, but if they hit, they do some major damage. It won't paralyze like the Thunderbolt, so, but either way, it's still a powerful thunder attack. Now for the edge in this department, it all will come down to one thing. It's the fact that Dragonite's Thunderbolt has a slim chance of causing paralysis, which would be a big factor in the fight, and Spyro's Lightning Blast does not cause paralysis. So when it comes to the lightning attacks, I'm giving it to Dragonite. Alright, now it's time for the ice moves. Dragonite Blizzard versus Spyro's Ice Stream. Now Dragonite's Blizzard is just one of the strongest ice attacks from this generations of Pokemon. It causes a violent snowstorm and it could have the chance to freeze Spyro, which like I said with the paralysis from the Thunderbolt Give, would give Dragonite an immediate edge. And with all the wind and the snow, if this battle would take to the air, Dragonite's used to that since it's his own move, and Spyro just might get sent to the ground because of the force of the winds. 
Spyro's Ice Stream shoot out in multiple streams from one to four, catch multiple targets at once, freezing them right in their tracks with enough force, with enough time. He can also shoot ice shards from his mouth, which will do severe damage when they make contact. So, just like Blizzard, it's a great ability from the get-go. Now, when it comes to the edges, when it comes to the ice attacks, despite Spyro's ice stream being a very effective weapon or attack and the ice shards doing heavy damage, it's just not going to stack up to Blizzard. Even though Spyro's ice stream can freeze smaller enemies on contact, but for an enemy like Dragonite, it'll take a long time and a steady stream to keep it going and freeze Dragonite. Whereas Dragonite's so large and his and Blizzard's gonna be so big and Spyro is smaller, he could get frozen faster and plus the wind from the Blizzard could knock him off balance. So when it comes to the ice attacks, I'm gonna give it the Dragonite. Alright, now it's time for the Earth or Rock attacks, which are very devastating for both of these guys. Dragonite, we've got Stone Edge. Versus Spyro's Rock Blast and Earth Flail. Now, Dragonite's Rock Stone Edge, my bad. Through all through the generations since it appeared, rocks fly from nowhere and hit the opponent with such force, it has a high chance to do heavy damage every time. And it is really hard to dodge, so Spyro's gonna have to do some nifty moves to get away. Now Spyro's Earth, Earth Flail and Rock Blast. The Rock Blast, he shoots a huge stream of Earth right from his mouth and can break through most barriers. And knock foes to their feet, smaller foes. So, Spyro's Earth Flail, he shoots a flail from his mouth made of Earth, swinging it around with such force, if an enemy gets hit, they're gonna get knocked off balance. Knock them off balance. Yes. All right. So, and he can swing at a high at a fast speed. So if Dragonite gets hit by that, he could have some problems himself. So who gets the edge when it comes to the Earth weapons? It's really close to call because Stone Edge does such a high amount of damage, but so does the Rock Blast and Earth Flail, which can also knock your opponent off balance so it's not really clear on which is better so instead of debating this one forever I'm just gonna call it dead even between the Stone Edge and Rock Blast Spyro and Dragonite are dead even now it's time for the special attacks we got Dragonite's Outrage versus Spyro's Shadow Beam now Dragonite's Outrage it is a very powerful attack that uh, does damage basically attacks two to three times so it does a high amount of damage when it hits but there's a catch once it's used the Pokemon using it ends up temporarily confused disorientated so that means if Dragonite uses Outrage it doesn't defeat Spyro with it, Dragonite might become too confused to fight. So that's a serious disadvantage. A Spyro Shadow Beam only happens when he's very enraged. I'm talking super enraged. If anyone's played uh, Spyro the Eternal Knight or um, Dawn of the Dragon, Spyro Dawn of the Dragon for the PS2 or PS3, uh, you'll know what I mean. But it's a very devastating shadow beam that can launch really far and it does a heavy amount of damage. It also increase and the energy coming from it, the shadow energy, will also increase his melee damage. So it's a very, very devastating ability. Now who gets the edge in the special attacks? While well, Outrage is a flat out devastating attack that can hit two or three times the fact that Dragonite might get confused or disorientated 
after he uses it, is just too much of a defect to it. While Spyro Shadow Beam has a flat out devastating attack with no side effects. While there is a slight side effect that Spyro has to be extremely mad to use it, which could lead him to be sloppy. Either way, I'm going to give the special attack edge to Spyro and the Shadow Beam. So now that all the weapons have been looked at, it's time to figure out who would win. Since I don't have the technology to people that new death battle has, I'm leaving it up to you guys to decide. Now in the comments, comment Dragonite, obviously if you want Dragonite to win, and comment Spyro if you want Spyro to win. I'm not accepting any comments as a vote if it's spelt wrong, the names are right here, you shouldn't spell it wrong. So I'm not going to accept any spell incorrection comments. You spell it wrong, I'm not counting it. So be on the lookout for the next episode when Blue Eyes White Dragon takes on Charizard. Until then, see you guys next time. Adios.